rate solution that I use for a nice black finish on metal parts. This works really great as a uh, hot finish for um, you know any kind of metal parts, but gun parts, um, knives, whatever needs a black oxide finish. And the ingredients um, sometimes are maybe a little tricky to get, but not difficult. And uh, while they are a little bit hazardous, they're not too hazardous. So here's the ingredients that I use. The first ingredient is phosphoric acid, and I got this 3M phosphoric acid bathroom cleaner at an office supply store. The next ingredient is this manganese dioxide powder, which I bought on eBay. I bought a pound of it. It was not that expensive, and it was easy to get. And then finally, some fine steel wool. I try to use as fine a steel wool as possible. Then I also uh, bought this uh, little hot pot at a dollar store for 25 bucks and uh, I need a bucket of water and an old toothbrush with nylon bristles uh, just to brush it off. Here's the process. <music> results if I bead blast or sand blast the parts that I'm going to be black oxiding. I didn't for this knife, I just sanded it with rough sandpaper. So I suspend the blade in the solution. I don't allow it to touch the sides or the bottom or the oxide won't take. After the part has soaked for about 15 minutes, I take it out and immediately dunk it into cold water. And then I take this uh, old toothbrush with nylon bristles and uh, just carefully and gently brush off the oxide. And I'll rinse it off and it'll go back in the solution. After it's been in the solution for uh, 15 more minutes, um, I take it out for the second round and just repeat the process. And I'm going to keep doing this about uh, five or six times until I get a good black color that I like. Just keep suspending the part in there, letting it soak, rinsing it off. After about the sixth time, uh, I take the blade out and I'm just drying it off here with a rag and just sort of wiping off some of the uh, extra oxide, just doing this very, very carefully. And it um, doesn't look that hot right now, but I'm um, going to get this cleaned up. And uh, then what, what I do is uh, I put a coat of oil on it. And what that does is it displaces any water that's down in the oxide finish. And so I'm just using 3-in-1 oil here, which works to displace water. And as I look at this, put a real generous coating of oil, I can see little bubbles of water coming to the surface of the oil. And um, this is going to draw out all of the water and also smooth out the oxide finish and uh, make it look good. So there's what it looks like. As you can see, um, some places on the blade that are a little harder than others. Uh, the color's a little different, but it's, it's really a nice finish. Very durable. Looks great on gun parts and uh, particularly on knives. So here's the finished knife. I put green canvas micarta scales on it. Uh, kind of white G10 liners and it really makes the black pop on that knife. I really like how this turned out. It's kind of one of my new designs. I'm going to be making some of these in AEBL as well. Hope uh, you enjoyed watching me do this process. Pretty durable, pretty cool.